Hola, 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 buenos dias, good morning, beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva. And today I am going to be setting up um, a spread and after the plan, after the pen, um, in my creative journal. This is my scrapbook, my flagship planner, my baby. This is basically a diary that holds my deepest, darkest secrets. And I'm going to be setting up um, this spread here. It's July 3rd through July 9th, and it's currently Monday morning. But um, I've been really enjoying setting up these videos in and after the pen after the plan style. I like the chattiness of them and also just the moment of reflection I have after a week has passed. And it's kind of nice actually to set up the spread in accordance with plans that have already happened. Like I know exactly what size of box I need for a particular event and such. And so uh, I've been enjoying these after the plan videos, these chatty videos in my flagship planner. So I think I'm going to be doing those style of videos from now on for this planner. Last video in this planner, I decorated this spread. This is the first week of the Tanya Garcia Bright Travels planner, and I had to use her corresponding sticker book, and I love how it turned out. This is my July monthly, super, super cute, very classic summer theme, bright and fun. And then this is the divider for July. And of course, you've seen the cover before, of course, but this is what the Tanya Garcia Bright Travels Planner looks like. And I finally added my name to the cover page. Y'all, I'm so excited because I just realized that I can turn all of my cover pages, my name pages, into stickers. So this is a design I drew a while back for one of my classic planner name pages. And what I did was I scanned the name page. I used Photoshop to just isolate the script. And then I used my Cricut to cut it out. And this is going to be a game changer for me because I can throw down um, any of my name designs that I have made throughout the years. And I can just you know, add a name design just like that. And I am loving this. Anyways, let's get back to the after the pen. So let me get back here. Okay, so for this week, I am in a bit of a hurry because I'm going to the Sierras in an hour or so. I'm going to drive up there for work. <laughs> I do have an awesome job in that we're taking a week, almost a week, um, up in the Sierras near Sequoia National Park to go collect ants. I'm a field evolutionary ecologist, so I have to go collect ants. We study their genetics. But in terms of sticker books, I am in the mood for a seasonal summer spread. So I have here Essential Seasons and Cheerful Seasons. I'm thinking of using these stickers from Essential Seasons. Um, this is also a sticker book I would like to finish at some point. So um, I think it's time to use the summer stickers. I love it. Okay, so let's start off with some of these double boxes. And I'm going to have some for the weekend because we did do quite a lot on the weekend so these are the days we'll remember maybe i'll use all three of these boxes right here because we did do a lot um this weekend so these are nice journaling boxes and of course i'm going to have to use some of these full boxes here because these are so fun see like so these are the best days what a cute sticker let's put this one right here Ooh, summer plans i really like this sticker um i want to make a summer bucket list let's see maybe i should put this right here and then write my little summer bucket list there that would be a nice change of pace from 
the currently sidebar that I've been doing. Ooh, look at these stickers. The foiled. <gasps> Gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna have to use some of these for sure. So I'm gonna use enjoy every moment. Life looks better underwater. <laughs> that one's fun. Make today the best day ever. Let's put this one here as well. Okay. That's a lot of full boxes. Let's see. Maybe I will add in some journaling. Ooh, look at these clear stickers. These are a lot of fun. Okay. Okay, for washi tape, I have these two, both simply gilded. Um, this light blue with polka dots and then this nice sunset washi tape with the bows. I think this is perfect. Let's put some of this right here. Ooh, I love this. Simply Gilded. Oh, their washi tape is amazing. And I actually think that this washi tape came from one of their summer collections last year. And um, it's just gorgeous. Maybe I'll put some. I kind of want to add some of this blue washi tape down here. Kind of gives me ocean vibes. So I will add that down there. Washi tape is just such a good, you know, decorative tool. It's very easy. I always put washi tape strips like down here at the bottom. And then you can layer it for some extra pizzazz like so. Beautiful. I feel like it just completes a spread. Okay, I really want to use this bicycle. I've been loving my new bike. I got a bike last month and I have been using it quite a bit and I am in love. It's just such a fun thing to do is to bike. So I'll put that there. And then less Monday, more summer. That's fun. Maybe I should put this one right here. Less Monday, more summer. I want to put down some journaling boxes before I run out of room. So I want to use these. This one says today. Put that there. This bright green one would be nice right here. And then notes. This one right here. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Let's go back to the clear stickers. Ooh, ooh, I love these. Oh my gosh, the umbrella. I wonder if I can put this one down here. Maybe like so, maybe like right there. I love that. And I kind of want to put something right here so that way the umbrella is a little bit anchored and it's not completely just floating in the air. What about a quote? Good times and tan lines. Yeah, let's do this. Kind of tilted like so. Perfect. I'll grab, the, I'll grab these little florals and pop them here in the corner. You know, one of the like biggest tips that I like to um, stick to whenever I'm setting up spreads is this technique in, you know, art or just like composition theory and composition technique in which you really want to have like the main subject of your painting or your artwork to have a flow and you want your eye to travel from every corner of the page. And so I really think about movement and how my eye naturally travels and where I like to look. And then you can then really identify where in the spread you're kind of like lacking a little bit because your eye kind of gets stuck and it stops and it reaches kind of like an awkward place. Anyway, that's a tip for me about um, setting up spreads. Because right now I definitely felt like... Um, my eye wanted to travel from this corner of the page down to here. And I really like going from like one edge to the next. I like a nice full spread. So that's why I added these little flowers up here is so that my eye could continue to travel up 
to the very corner of the page. I think I'm going to use the rest of those uh, of these journaling boxes. These say to do, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and use them as little journaling boxes. Maybe I'll put this one right here. Oh, actually, I regret putting this one down here. Undo to the rescue. And I have my little towel here that I use precisely for these moments where I want to use undo. Okay, I'm thinking of using this box as well. Ooh, perfect, like so. Okay, and then one right here. Amazing. Okay, I really want to use the rest of this page here. So the sunglasses I'll add to there. This little flower, um, this one's cute. I will add this, maybe, let's see, maybe up here. And I do actually want to add like a 4th of July sticker from my Seasons sticker book. I think it was here that I saw this 4th of July sticker that I really liked. Um, let's see. Maybe not. Maybe it was, yeah, it was in another sticker book. It must have been in Cheerful Seasons. It was a 4th of July sticker that I really liked here. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Stars and Stripes. I'm going to add this right here. I love it. And also, I want to use some of these um, stickers. These little firework stickers. Maybe I'll add this right there and then maybe one of these um, popsicles right here and then another firework right here and maybe some more clear stars just like right here love it and I kind of want to add another firework in the corner here, but I'm thinking I'm going to uh, have to cut off some of the excess there and then punch out the part that I covered up. So let me pull out my crocodile. I love this thing. Okay. Okay, there we go. Success. There we go. Perfect. I really like how that turned out. Okay. I really wanted to use this Gnome of the Free sticker, but I completely forgot that I was that I had this. Um, so let's see. It's a massive sticker, and I feel like I already used up a lot of my space. So let's see. I wonder if I can fit it in here somewhere. Oh, it's huge. Ah! I hate when I do this. Okay, so I could put it here, or I could put it here. I kind of like this here. But then it covers up this coat and then this box. I could, okay, I could peel off this sticker right here, this box, and then put down this gnome of the free. I kind of want to do it because if I don't use this gnome of the free sticker right now, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to wait a whole other year for um for me to use this sticker so let's put down a gnome of the free there we go perfect love it and then i have one more box left i could put this right here i could tuck it underneath the gnome of the free like so okay sure that's okay I feel like it's kind of awkward when two boxes are like right next to each other like this, <sighs> but it's not a big deal. It's fine. Okay, I do want to use up the rest of the stickers on this page here. So I'm going to peel off this little beach ball and then the shell. And then I do really want to get into these stickers, the foiled stickers, but we shall see if I manage to get into those. I'm thinking of putting this little seashell like right here and then cutting out some of it 
this little beach ball maybe can go hmm let's see where should I put oh right here this is a perfect place to put it I love placing clear stickers or any type of stickers um, on the spine like this I think it's such a neglected spot and yes there is like a little bit extra work with cutting off the excess and also punching out the holes but I think it is so worth it. I think it really elevates a spread. And again, um, I am so drawn to like composition and negative space in a spread. And for me, the spines here because of the discs always feel like a dead zone for me, as well as like up here. And then also the space down here, it always feels like a dead zone to me. And so I really try my hardest to not forget about these areas i mean sometimes i can't help but leave them empty but i love when i'm able to kind of spread out into that space okay next i want to use these stickers here i love this quote choose happy today i'm gonna put this one right here oh that's perfect i love when a sticker just really you know fits into a a little space like that perfectly um i love this love your summer selfie quote as well let's see where i can sneak this one in like right here um it's too close to the other quote um let's see I, okay i think i'm gonna go ahead and, and put it here love your summer selfie and I think it would be nice to put a box up here. So I'm gonna grab my Mojo Jojo plans, um, these nice squares right here, and then I'm gonna put this right there. Perfect. Ooh, I love these flip flops with their little foil thongs. Um, maybe this right here. <gasps> love that. Okay. I'm putting this little um, flower right here. And honestly, I kind of want to add more fireworks up here. Um, I saw some amazing fireworks this year. My neighborhood really popped off and it was so fun. So um, I'm really feeling like adding some fireworks. So I'll put like a little sparkler right there. I love it. Maybe some right there. Okay, so now I just gotta cut that off. Yay, I'm loving how it's turning out so far. I love these fish right here. So let me pull these ones. And I would love to put these maybe, maybe right here. Ooh, love it. Maybe some more bubbles, like right there. Some seashells. Again, I'm going to go for a spinal placement right there. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing right here as well. Okay, I kind of want to use all of the stickers on this page as well. Would you judge me? Okay, some bubbles up here. The surfboard that says bring on the fun. I think I could potentially put this... I like this, like, I like this like this, like standing up. Bring on the fun. Love that. Okay, might as well grab this bright rainbow. Ooh, I love this. Let's put this right here. Perfect. Okay, we've almost made it to the very end. And then once I put these stickers down, I'm going to call it good. So let me grab... Time to bring on the sunshine. Okay, this one can go here. It can go here. I kind of like it up there. Ooh, this one's the most difficult one. I kind of like it right here. Okay, let's put it down right here. And then the last two things are these pair of foiled sunglasses. And I think these are going to be perfect maybe on the spine. Let's see, maybe one right here. 
and then the other one can go okay i kind of want it down here actually so yeah let's put this one down here Fun. This one turned out so fun. Really enjoying this. Very bright and vibrant. I love it. Okay, the last thing I want to do is add some cafecito designs, stickers. These are so, so cute. And I like adding like fun elements into a spread. Um, especially if I've been using like one sticker book predominantly, I like to kind of change things up and add just like one little element of something different. And so this is going to be my little like fun element. I'm going to use these super cute Dulceria stickers. These are Mexican candies and they're giving me summer vibes. So I'm going to sprinkle these around the page and I think it's going to look super cute. All right, I used up all the stickers. <laughs> As always, this is an explosion of color and stickers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to journal. I'm going to write down everything that happened this week. And then I'll come back and recap a little bit. And then this video will be done. Okay, this is it. This is the entire spread all filled out. And I think spreads look so good when they're completely filled out like this. I feel like it really balances all of the like sticker explosion that is happening. Um, yeah, and it's just nice to reflect on the week. So um, just to recap, here in the sidebar, I did not do my currently page like I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Um, instead, I did my summer bucket list. I have a couple of things on my bucket list. Snorkeling at La Jolla, which is a beach town near me. Um, going to Sequoia National Park. Going up to Los Angeles to check out the art museum, LACMA, and hiking at Griffith Park. Um, hiking Hot Springs Mountain, that's on my bucket list. Um, going to check out the Channel Islands again. That's on my bucket list. And then backpacking San Gorgonio, which is a 19 mile hike, also on my bucket list. And Disneyland, also on my bucket list. So we'll see how many I get done this summer. So just to recap the week, Monday, I wasn't feeling too well, honestly. I feel like my period is right around the corner and I always feel kind of lethargic and like my emotions are a little bit all over the place, but I did manage to have a productive work day. I was thinking of taking this day off because of the holiday and the fact that I could have like the weekend and then basically have a four day weekend. I did not end up doing that. Um, and I'm glad I didn't because there was a lot of things I needed to get done and it was nice to just kind of sit down and get stuff done. And then on the 4th, we had 4th of July, which was so much fun. Honestly, um, I don't really celebrate a lot of the holidays with my family on the day that the holidays happen because um, most of my family works on the 4th. And so I usually just relax on the holidays. I take the day off. Um, and on the 4th, I just unplugged completely. I was feeling really drained from work and just being on screens all the time. And so I didn't even check my phone or my laptop. Um, for the majority of the 4th, I just was in my backyard gardening and cleaning up my backyard and tidying it, cleaning up my patio. Um, it was something I needed to do <laughs> and it was nice to just, you know, for five hours I was out there and just getting a little bit of a workout in and also just um, enjoying being in the sun and that was super nice. And then in the evening, I walked around my neighborhood with my dogs. I gave them a nice long walk and we saw so many fireworks. It was fantastic. So that was the fourth. And then Wednesday, it was back to work. Um, Wednesdays are the days I go down to the prison. So that was nice. And then Stephen's mother, um, my boyfriend's mom, she arrived on Wednesday. She's staying with us for a week. So they got in um, pretty late, almost the same time I got back from prison, which is about 9 30, 10. Thursday, I went to work and I took Bugs and Daisy to the office. I tend to not bring them in very much, but sometimes I do bring them in 
And the reason I brought them in on Thursday was because they were doing some maintenance in my house and they wanted my dogs to be, you know, not around. And so I brought them in and that was super fun because I let them off leash when I was walking to and from the office, which is at about a mile. And right now campus is super empty because it's summer and I didn't really see a lot of people around. And so the dogs were having fun just being off leash and hanging out and enjoying themselves. Friday was just another work day and um, Friday afternoon and evening we hung out with my boss, um, a grad student in the department, and then my boss and I. We all are into beads and beading so we all hung out at my boss's house for the afternoon and into the evening and had pizza and snacks and made some earrings and bracelets and that was fun. Oh and then the seventh Friday was Bugs's birthday. He turned nine this year so that was super fun. And then to celebrate um, we took Bugs to Ocean Beach Dog Beach with a couple of friends and we had pizza and beer after and it was so much fun. And um after Dog Beach, me and my friend Ethan, we played Mario Kart at his place and watched this movie called Gattaca. It was fantastic. And then Sunday, uh, I spent the day with Steven and his mom and my mom. We went down to Balboa Park, which is our, you know, city park, and went to the Japanese Friendship Garden and checked out some museums and had a picnic down there. Stopped by Paris Baguette, which is like an Asian bakery on our way back up, back to home. And that was super fun. And so that was the week. Again, super happy with how this spread came out. It's super fun and bright and it looks good. All right, everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you were up to this past weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Adios. Bye.